I joined this commission in 1995. I got married in this commission at Rajoba in 2007, September. And ever since then, we've been believing God for the fruit of the womb. Medically, we've gone to so many hospitals, general hospitals, teaching hospitals, several other hospitals, and we're confirmed that everything is okay. Though they noticed negligible uh, fibroid, which the doctor said doesn't stop anyone from getting pregnant because it was very minute. Then in 2017, we decided to operate on the fibroid and see if it's part of what is determining the pregnancy. After the fibroid operation, the doctor suggested that we go for IUI. We did two IUI. It didn't work out. He also suggested that why not try IVF, that the chances of IVF is higher. And we tried. We did several IVFs and they failed. About three years into our marriage, I and when you know children were not forthcoming, I remember Bishop Wedeko's word that uh, when things are not working, we should look inward. And that we should not take God for granted, granted so that we will not be granted. So I remember that I did not appreciate God enough because the thought that flooded my heart after marriage was that I married late. So I started you know, asking for forgiveness from God. So one of the things I did is to continue to engage in service. I've always been doing that. I started as a sanctuary keeper. I was a member of tra transport service group and I kept serving God. Besides that, I kept, you know, working on the word of God I've been hearing. I also engage in all the mysteries, the weapons that the church taught us. That first time I felt like giving up, based on all the teachings we hear on the altar here, and all the word of faith that we have been trained to, to exhibit, I can never say anything contrary. So I kept saying it. When people see me and say, ah, your children, I say they are doing fine. How many boys do you have? I say two boys. Girl and got one girl, two boys, one girl. I have a customer in Ilepo market. Anytime she calls me, she used to call me yesterday. Oh, my Lola. Lola Wore. She's my youngest sister. She lived with me. Went to university with me. Graduated and started working. And when it was time for her to get married, we went home for the engagement. My father, very old, at that time was about 80. We did the engagement at home and he authorized us to go and do the white wedding in Lagos and myself and my husband to represent him. And we did in 2007, we did the wedding. And I was expecting her to, to get pregnant. When it was becoming two years, three years, I started, or well, two years, I started praying. Every time I pray, we come to Shiloh, I would say, Lord, bless Omalola and Matthew. Give them their own children. But when it was getting, the years were getting longer, eight, nine, I started requesting for triplets from God. I started saying, God, the years, the Kankawama, the Pawama, you have to, you have to restore it give them triplets. So after I prayed, all you will now see after that time my Shiloh request is Father, thank you for Matthew and Obalola Olawori's triplets. That's my own personal between me and God. So each time I see them, I used to encourage them to keep on trusting in the Lord. They didn't know what my own prayer request they didn't know what I was requesting from God. I've been coming to Shiloh since 2007 and attending Fathers and Mothers of Nations class. However, in 2021, I was so desperate. I told God, I've been coming to Shiloh all this while. But this year, Shiloh, because it's like repeating the same class every year. I said, God, I must not return to the next Shiloh. Still praying the same prayer, prayer point. Something needs to happen. During Shiloh sacrifice, I was so set for it. For the first time in my life, I've been giving Shiloh sacrifice. I give, I've been giving. But that particular Shiloh 2021, what I've never given before in my life, I vowed it. Because I was expectant, I started carrying myself gently, walking the way a pregnant woman should be walking. I'm not just expecting one, I'm expecting three. 
and in February, to the glory of God, for the first time in my life, I was confirmed pregnant. When it's time to discover the sex, we I went to we went to two places, both Lut and another uh, scan center, and they said there are two girls and one boy. So I told my husband, I told me no, all we ask from God is two boys and one girl. That I should not worry, these two boys and one girl. So when he said it, it boosted my face. Day after that one, the next can, they would just say they saw one boy, one girl. The next test is unknown. They would just put unknown. Asterisk that they can't find the next test. So on September 28th, 2022, I got delivered of two boys and one girl. I want to thank God of this commission for being faithful to his word.